Whitehall on an eight-game winning streak on the hunt for a ninth as it hosts the visiting Blue Eagles. Nazareth looking for its tenth win in a row after defeating its opponents from the previous week by a combined total of 17 to nothing. Seven minutes into the contest and the Nazareth offense pressuring as Maddie Ott crosses the ball toward the net and Renee Wells' attempt is blocked by Samantha Kern. Whitehall gets a chance as Ella Weber takes a shot, but it's secured by Katie Henchy to keep it scoreless with 24 minutes left in the half. 13 minutes into the second and the Blue Eagles threatening again as Logan Sarr's shot is off the goalpost. Abby Kilareski's follow-up is blocked by Jade Alvarez. Emma Patogny with a chance for Whitehall eight minutes later, secured by Henchy with the game still scoreless. Three minutes left in regulation time and Chloe Guerrero with an open path to the goal and her attempt goes wide. Seconds left in the half and Kilareski with the corner. It's booted away by Katie Yadush to send the game into overtime. Two minutes left in overtime and Kern comes charging out of the goal to block Michaela Mooney's shot. Isabel Denise tries to follow it up but it's recovered by the Zephyrs. A minute 30 remaining as Wells breaks away toward the goal. She takes the shot and finds the back of the net for the one nothing overtime victory for Whitehall. Well, amazing. Um, we knew going into it was going to be a very hard game and we were going to have to really bring it. So for us to win felt really good. Um, I was feeling a lot of pressure, I'm not going to lie, but um, I knew my team was cheering me on and I knew everyone's head was in it and hopefully win or lose we were going to come out of it proud of ourselves. With tonight's win, Whitehall seniors have seen the first victory over Nazareth in their careers with the program. And the key to tonight's win was a strong defensive showing and the ability to dig deep when the game got down to the wire. We haven't beat Nazareth in years. Like, in our, my four years of being in high school, we haven't beat them once. So this was definitely like a, a giddy moment for us. We needed a strong defense because we know they have a strong forward. So we had to like really put one of our good defenders back there. So we had to get her back there and we had to just work together as a team and like work on like do what we've been working on in practices and just get those that into what we were doing. I don't know, I'm still kind of in shock that <laughs> with what just happened, but um, I think we're all like very proud of ourselves and hopefully it'll help us to continue playing very strong for the rest of the season. On the scene, I'm Sierra Jones for the Service Electric Network.